Hello everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today, I'm going to show you how to set up sales and marketing campaigns in Dynamics 365 Business Central. In this scenario, we will discuss sales campaigns. A campaign is any kind of activity that involves several contacts. An important part of setting up a campaign involves selecting the target audience for your campaign. For this purpose, in Business Central, you create a segment or a group of contacts using filters. You can use these features in sales and marketing to carefully plan your marketing activities and to manage your interactions with contacts and customers. You can create a campaign and set up segments of your contacts for mailing and other types of interactions with your contacts and prospective customers. The component segment features are automated. The process enables you to plan, organize and keep track of your marketing activities. This will increase the chances of winning new customers and retaining existing ones. First, we will set up a campaign. The rules for this campaign require sales and relationship managers. So first, we will set up a campaign. Search for a campaign and select the related link. So you can create a new campaign card here. This number is automatically generated from your number series. Fill in the required details like description. I am giving name Trade Show 2021. Now, you can select a planned status for your campaign. If you want another campaign status, you can create it from the new button. Now, fill in the other details like starting date, end date, salesperson code and your campaign is ready. Now, click on navigate and then segments. This is used to tag your target audience. You can create segments of your contacts, so make a new one. Fill in all the required details here. You can add contacts one by one or in bulk. You can use these filters to import contacts in bulk. So I'm using the salesperson code filter. These are the contacts who say the person code is PS. This is the correspondence type. It specifies the type of correspondence for interaction. These are double because one is a company and the other is a person. If you want to remove some entries, first select them. Then click on manage and delete the line. These are interaction templates code. You can create your own template code here. Then this is a language code. If you want to send an attachment with this email, you can select the attachment and import it from your system. Fill in your subject and this is the correspondent type default. This specifies the correspondence type that you select in the correspondence type default field should be used. There is no check mark. The program uses the correspondence type selected on the contact card and sends a word document as an attachment. Enable this. This is a campaign target. This is used for the segment, the part of the target of the campaign to which it is linked. This is a campaign response. It specifies that the interaction created for the segment is a response to a campaign. Then it is complete. Now click on log and if you want to send attachment, enable this option. And this will create a follow up segment. This means when your segment has logged off, it will create a new segment with these contacts. You can say it will create a copy of the segment. You can customize your advanced setting, then click OK, then send an email. Now you can track your campaign here. These are entries for your campaign. The number of interaction. You can see the stats of this campaign. These are target contacts. So that's it for this video. See you soon in the next video. Please like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't forget to click the bell icon to get the new update. Thanks for watching.